Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this NFL weekend action. Yeah. Dumbass, they f***ing know. So why don't you tell them what we're doing this week? Well, let's start off with a little quick recap. Last week, 2-1, and one, another winning week for yours truly. Hot. My buddy over here had a losing week. I don't know what the record is. Uh, what am I? I'm 18? You're under 500. 18-22? I'm a few games over 500. It might be true. That might be false. But we're we're very close to each other now. We're ca- I'm catching him, right? I'm catching him. Well, that's why this is a very today, special week. What we're doing today is it's 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 simple and it's special. We're just gonna we're doubling our picks. Normally we give you three picks. We're gonna give you six picks each. Five picks, one big lock. So still you're still gonna get the same amount of big locks, but you're getting double the picks, and we're gonna try and do it in close to the same amount of time. So let's start it off right away. We're not gonna waste any more time. I'm taking the Colts and the Bucks, and I'm taking the Bucks minus three. That's it. That's it. We're gonna keep it quick. No, it's really uh, it's, taking the Colts. The Colts minus three. No, I'm taking the Bucks. Oh, minus you're taking three. the Bucks plus taking three. Taking the Bucks. Oh, 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 you're taking a minus three. The Bucks minus three. Bucks oh, okay. Minus, yeah, gotcha. That, that's what well, the lines are. I'm gonna take the Rams, and I'm gonna take them plus one over Seattle. I hate betting against Russell Wilson in prime time. I bet him every time he's been in prime time, but you know what? Money talks. Money talks, and so do numbers. Rams plus one at home against Seattle Sunday night. That's a tricky game. So you want to like Don't talk to me. Are the Rams back don't talk or they're not? Don't Rams talk. Back to me. or they're not? No, don't sure, talk they're to not. me. They're I don't want back. you to talk to me. Rams aren't back. All right. Let's slow it down a little bit. Slow, slow it down. down. Slow it down a little bit. The next pick. It's the Cincinnati Bengals going to Cleveland, plus seven and a half. We're taking the Bengals. Andy Dalton is back. Listen, last week, here's a, I'm going to give you the quick breakdown here. The Bengals lost by six to the Steelers. And then the Steelers beat the Cleveland Browns. So now... The Bengals shouldn't lose by more than seven and a half to the Browns. That's the analysis. Bengals plus seven and a half. I mean, you, when you tie all those games together, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I, it's a good pick. Makes sense. It's a good pick. Uh, my next pick, I'm going New England, Kansas City, and... You think since you saw the last two of the games last year that it's going to go skyrocketing over. That ain't the case. They're going under 49 on Sunday because New England's going to run the football. They want to keep that offense off the field in Kansas City. New England can't throw the ball, and Kansas City has a sneaky good pass defense, but they can't defend the run. So what is New England going to do? They're going to run the ball. They're going to run the ball. And they're going to take time off the clock. And when time comes off the clock, that means the under is going to hit under 49. New England, Kansas City, animal, f- face. What do you got? Is that a uh, big son of truck game or something? Don't talk. All right. What do I got? Uh, let me see. I got so much, so many games on here. It's uh, a lot to take in. Uh, let's go with Tennessee at Oakland. I'm taking, listen, the Titans have been so hot lately. They've been winning me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot lot of money. Derrick Henry's playing like Derrick Henry plays. He runs people over, he scores touchdowns. We see it every week. Ryan Tannehill's playing like he's a, a legitimate quarterback in the NFL, which you'd love to see. And the Raiders are playing like shit, which you'd love to see. You'd love to see it. When you're a Broncos fan, Raiders suck. They're frauds. They they started off the season with a couple wins. Everyone's like, oh, John Gruden's good. He's not. They suck. They got blown out last week. They're going to get blown out again. Minus two and a half is going to be easiest. 
easiest cover of the week. You would think it'd be my big lock, but it's too easy to make it a big lock. I'm just going to give it to you for free right here. That Titans minus makes two and a half. no f- sense. It makes a lot of sense, baby. But I tell you, that is a great pick because the first time we are going to be on the same side of one game. Well, we're going to be picking the same game, but I'm taking. Yes. Yes. Who am I taking? Raiders. Raiders. Oh. The Raiders. Yes. The only reason you're taking Plus them is so you can say that. You can say it like that. That's the only reason you do yes. Two and a half. Money line two. Shout out to my boy Yannick. The best, the best man I know is Yannick. I don't even know his last name. But big Oakland Raider fan. And I'm telling you right now. This is the get right game for Oakland. Tennessee doesn't stay this hot forever. There it is. Plus Oakland, two and a half. The Raiders are playing for for something. The, the Raiders are not. So, I mean. The yeah. Raiders are playing for something and the Raiders are not? Are you f- tuned in? Really? The no, Titans no. are playing for something. The Raiders Dude, are not. Been, How do you figure that? How do you figure that? The Raiders are playing man. for a wild card game. I've been partying and having a good time. You have not been partying. I can guarantee you that. I could tell them you have, and I have videos of you not. I've been partying. Uh, what do I got here? Next pick, we're going to go with the Baltimore Ravens heading into Buffalo, heading into Bills Mafia, minus five and a half. I, I went back and forth in this game for a while here, actually. This was a tough one for me. I even, Sharp. To even put in here, but listen, I have to. I have to do it because before, like, the, the, the Ravens were so hot, they were covering every game. You you saw, you know what I mean, right? You saw them covering all those games, right? And then last week, they had that tight, that tight game, tight game with the 49ers. Yeah, against a good They're pissed that they team. didn't cover. They love covering the spread. Ravens love covering the spread. They didn't cover last week. And now they're like, hey, listen, we got to cover the spread. We got to cover the spread this week. <laughs> Let's cover the spread. Go Ravens minus five and a half. Let's go Bills Mafia. Let's go go Ravens. Bills Mafia, baby. That's going to be a good game. I'm actually one of the few games I'm looking forward to this I'm week. I'm excited for that game. I, uh, You took one of my picks because I'm so good at this and you're really not. And you just take all my winners. That's why you've been winning. Um, I'm going to take Green Bay minus 12 and a half. I think they blow Washington out in Green Bay. Washington's coming off what? Two emotional wins. That shit don't last. Green Bay needs to keep fighting for the playoff berth, and they're going to beat the ever living out of the Redskins in Green Bay. Minus 12 and a half. Lock the Packers in. Write me out. When? <laughs> when? Write me out. Write me out. Write me out. Packers, minus 12 and a half. What do you want to do? I forgot how many picks we got left. Got two left, right? No, you have one pick left and one then a big lock. And a big so lock. Pick, yeah, yeah. And a big lock. You are so out of tune. One pick and a big lock. And my next pick, my next <laughs> pick. <laughs> I'm quitting very soon. <laughs> I'm so quitting. My next pick is the Jets. It's the Dolphins. It's the Fitzpatrick Adam Gase revenge game. It's so simple. It's so simple. You have to take the over. You know there's going to be a ton of points scored. You know it's going to be a ton, of, a ton, of, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. So many points. There's going to be points going over here. There's going to be some points over there. 45 and a half. You think they're not going to score 45 and a half? Fitzpatrick is going to score 40 and a half points by himself. Gase? Yeah. Gase might even go on the field throw tutty. That'll exude confidence. But, you know, that, that 40, 45 and a half over Miami, New York Jets. That's real easy. Let's go snacks. Come on. Before I get to the big lock, a little certain news that broke the other day. Monday Night Football. Yeah, I figured you'd tie this in somehow. The land of Philadelphia. The land of shit people. The land of disgusting, humiliating, embarrassing human beings. The Lord and Savior returns. The prodigy son 
returns. There's a spread on Monday Night Football. The underdog is getting 10 points. You know what I have to do. Yeah, just do it. This is a homer pick, and it's a pick for one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. It's his swan song. It's his destiny. It is his merit to play the way he will play on Monday night. Ladies and gentlemen, New York football giants plus 10 Monday night against the trash bag, disgusting, loser mutt, idiot, moronic Eagles. Eli. Yeah, no, I, I could see. I think it's a decent pick. It's a good pick. I almost, I would have taken that. Suck my dick. I just think it's going to be, it's going to be funny if how, you know, you chose the Eagles last week. Minus 10. And now you're taking. Well, listen, the, the only reason I lost last week is because I, I, went, I went against my blood. The Eagles, I actually picked. They cover, I, actually it's picked be, I actually picked that fraudulent team it's Eli's know, time now it's, it's Eli's a, time a wild now. wild week if we start Eli from the beginning we'd be a playoff team just gonna be a wild week and guess what everybody we're not doing a big dog pick this week because no we're not you guys don't send him in yeah for real you don't send him in I'm not gonna you don't send him in. if you haven't noticed what we had the editor last week we had uh Nick did one we had our champ from the league you guys don't send him in we're not gonna do him can we please can you guys please send uh, him in? bagels locks we got, we, we got four weeks left Send him in. Send him in. Oh, you hear that sound? Oh, there it is again. I think it's time. Did you spill wine on this? No, I didn't. I think you did. No, I didn't. Oh, it is time for the big locks, everybody. Let's finish strong here. Let's get into the big locks. I'm going to give you mine first. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Arizona Cardinals. Minus two. Pittsburgh, minus two. The Cardinals just got obliterated by the Rams. And you know what the Rams? You know you know something about the Rams? Come here. Come here. Zoom in. Get close. It's ready. The Rams, they suck. The Rams suck. The, the Steelers' defense is, I don't want to say it's the it's the top five defense, maybe, in the, in the league. I mean, their defense is very good. They're going to absolutely destroy the already hurt, banged up Kyler Murray. So he's going to be running around. He's going to be getting sacked a lot. Minus two is going to be an easy win for the Steelers. It's probably going to be minus three and a half, minus four by the time you guys see this. But I'm getting it at minus two. That's my big lock. Super easy. Pittsburgh Steelers, minus two. James Washington, touchdown. And those are um, those are big facts, by the way. Those are big facts. You're up, buddy. Oh, really? Yes, please. You want somebody else to make the bet? Nope. Just you. <laughs> you know how many times people have lost money betting on Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints in the Superdome? Do you know how many times? I made a calculated risk. I did the math. Everybody loses when they bet against Drew Brees and the Saints at the Superdome. But, but there's a different ball player coming into town this week. San Francisco 49ers. They're off a rough loss. They got beat up. A hard physical game. So, with that in mind, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Saints minus two and a half. They're at the Superdome. Drew Brees is getting questioned about if he can win another big game or not. Suck his d***. Drew Brees is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Not as good as Eli. He's only got one. Eli's got two. Anyway, what I was saying was Drew Brees beats, beats, beats the San Francisco 49ers by at least, at least 
bare minimum three points Sunday. Question. I don't want to answer. Question. Does Alvin Kamara score any of those those points? Does he have a touchdown? Nope. That sucks. Michael Thomas for two. And Jared Cook for another. The Saints are going to roll Sunday against the 49ers. The 49ers are very good against the pass, but they are not going to stop that run with Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray. And Drew Brees is going to feast. And it's going to be a blowout. It's a super dome game. Minus two and a half. That's the easiest bet I've made all f***ing year. That's my big lock. I'm 11 and three on big locks. You don't bet against my big locks. If you do, you're a scumbag. You don't know what you're doing. Goodbye. Well, there you have it, everybody. Uh, That's the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in uh, next week for another episode. We're going to be back in the regular format. And please like, subscribe, comment below. And that's it. Bagels and Locks. Bagels and locks. Sorry.